Now this illustration deals with applying UL 508. Now the key section is 409.1, the informational note, which refers to UL 508. And I think UL 508 or A now contains uh, all the information that used to be in two standards, UL 508 and UL 508A. I believe my memory is serving me correctly there. And then the note up above says for industrial control panels, which we're dealing with here, we would see Article 409 for the NEC rules. And then custom-made equipment is listed as UL 508 or UL 508 that contains both standards. NFPA 79, if that uh, industrial control panel is dealing in conjunction with NFPA 79. And then 110.2 starts the approval of this custom-made equipment uh, or this UL 508. And then 110.3A1 through A8 deals with uh, checks that have to be made and in certain rules and requirements that have to be adhered to. And then again, the ANSI C series standard for a particular piece of equipment may have to be used in conjunction with the above. And then if you're in a classified hazardous location, again, uh, we would uh, look at 500.8A1 uh, to uh, pick up those uh, rules. Now, uh, again, we would design by the NEC, UL 508 or 508A or whichever one of those standards contains the rules, and I believe it's UL 508. If that industrial control panel, again, is uh, uh, in conjunction with the operation of industrial equipment, we'd have to look at the NFPA 79. And then if we needed an ANSI C series, we would pick it up only if we need it. So I figure 1-26 then deals with applying the UL 508 standard in conjunction to what does that industrial control panel uh, uh, is designed to operate and to control.